Welcome back, welcome back. My name is Jared, and today we're taking a look at Galactic Knight for your Samsung Galaxy S2, Galaxy Note, and Galaxy S3. However, if you don't have, or I'm sorry, if you do have a North American and, uh, version of the Galaxy Note and Galaxy S3, this application will not work for you, unfortunately, because the, um, I guess, how the phones are set up for their display configurations are... Uh, a bit different, so the North American uh, Galaxy Note and Galaxy S3 are out of the question for this particular application. Also, you need root to use this app, so uh, keep that in mind as well. Quit being a bunch of pussies and just go and root your devices already. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and launch it. Galactic Night. Well, what is Galactic Night, Jared? Well, let me tell you. Um, Galactic Night is like a night mode application. So if you're doing a lot, of, if you find that you're using your device a lot at night, and you know, I mean, like it gets bright a lot, and you don't, want, I mean, if if you don't have an automatic brightness slider like this, um, you know, on your in your notification tray, or you don't have <clears throat> easy access to uh, brightness, this might be a good option for you. Um, you know, maybe you just also if you just don't like the colors, you know, at night, then this is again another great option for you. Um, as well as some power saving, uh, things like that. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, right now I have it already set up to dynamic. We'll switch on over to standard and it changes the colors ever so, ever so slightly. So obviously this isn't really, in my opinion, dynamic, standard, natural, and movie mode, in my opinion, are not meant for sort of like, you know, night mode, if you will. They don't really have any night mode functions to, or functionality to it. It just doesn't really make any sense. It's more, they're more... Um, uh, if you switch, I, in my opinion, if you switch to one of the other settings down here, it's more to kind of just get back instead of going through the settings and uh, and reselecting your default um, um, display mode. So anyway, we've got dynamic. We're on standard. Oh, there's standard. Switch on over to natural. Switch to movie. As you can see there, natural to movie. It just changes ever so slightly. Whoops, that's red. And uh, we'll switch on over to red again, as you can see there. Uh, green, blue, sepia. Mono sepia, no blue, which looks really weird on my eyes. Black and white. We got outdoor, which I think was really cool. Um, you know, switching between dynamic and outdoor, as you can see here, it changes the colors a bit. That green turns to yellow, if you'll notice. Standard, you know, switching back and forth there. So outdoor mode, definitely something to use um, when you're outdoors, of course. And of course, you know, if we were to go ahead and bump up the brightness. Man, that is just screaming. It's like a flashlight in your face. So if you're this, this should help uh, against you know that outdoor visibility and direct sunlight with the Galaxy S3. Uh, you know I've complained about that in past videos, so um, it's nice to see. I'll definitely be testing that out. And of course we've got invert. Everybody loves invert. Look how crazy that looks. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Anyways, guys, really useful application. Um, so, you know, I don't personally do a whole lot of mucking around with my with my device um, while I'm lying in bed or at night or when it's really that dark out. Uh, but I'll be keeping this application around, you know, just in case I do run into situations where I, you know, I want to use my device um, in bed or at night. Um, also, a little disclaimer: if you do have red, blue. I don't know, sepia or, you know, uh, invert or black and white or no blue set. Um, don't use them for long, long periods of time. You know, I mean, like if you want to use it for like, you know, whatever the odd hour or something like that or or less, I don't know, uh, you should be okay. But just don't have it at maximum brightness, okay? Um, otherwise, you will notice some screen burn and you don't want that. You don't want images burnt into your display because that makes everything else look like crap. Um, anyways, the application is free on the Google Play Store. As always, I'll be posting a link in the description below for you guys to go download. And that's it. That is it. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff there. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, if you like this video, show me some love by hitting that likes button down below. And you might want to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. You got videos Monday to Friday. Uh, ROMs, mods, apps, hacks, device reviews and unboxings, all kinds of great stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.